Now let's look at how you use some of the graphics features of Synopsys. Let's get a lens out of the library here. We'll get the lens in library location one. And let's get a drawing of the lens. But this time we're going to use the sidebar here. I'm going to click on the button here and I get a drawing of the lens. Not too surprising. But now what happens when you click that sidebar is not really that simple. And let me show you this. Uh, you can make these buttons do anything you want them to do. I'm going to click up here, and it, this is where you select the response to each toolbar button. Now, right now, this sidebar button here it, um, is set to send a character string, I06. You can also select uh, that it sends a character string, MPL. Let's select that one and see what happens. I'll click OK. And now when I click on this sidebar button, it goes to the MPL dialog, which we've used before. And you can then make your drawing that way if you want. Okay, let's put this back to what it was up here. I'm going to say I06. Okay. And now when I press this button, <clears throat> I, get it, I get my drawing again. Now, what is I06? Well, that's not a command. That is uh, a symbol. We talked about AI uh, substitution and the way it, um, you can enter symbols and it will do a command. Well, let me do this. Let me type show symbols. And this is a list of the symbols that are currently defined. And you look here, I06 means drawing and then some arguments here. And that's why we got a drawing. The uh, button actually submitted the characters I06 and the artificial intelligence program said, oh, that really means all of this. And then that's what happened. So now you wonder, well, how did those symbols get defined? And here we have to talk about some important macros that get run by the program automatically when you start it up. I'm going to type here load macro, S-Y-S-T-A-R-T, SysStart. That's a macro that gets uh, installed uh, by the program, and it runs automatically anytime the program starts. And what it does, increments the log number, turns on some uh, mode control switches, turns on AI mode, sets a few symbols, and then it executes an alternate macro, which is called icons. And then it executes another macro called customs. Now, this is a way a macro can call another macro like it were a subroutine. Now, the, the macro icons, let's, let's load that one up here. Load macro icons. Here it is. This is called by, it says right here, this is called by sysstart to set up uh, some more symbols. And this is where it defined the meaning of the symbol I06 and a whole bunch of other ones. Now, the uh, startup macro also called another macro called custom. So let's do load macro custom. And right now, that's empty. Uh, Synopsis does not come with a macro called customs. Right now, I put an empty one in just so you can see it. Uh, you have to make your own. And this is where you put in any other mode switch settings or symbol settings that you want to restore every time you start the program. Okay, we have our picture. Let me load this up again. Now let me show you some nice things we can do with this picture. Um, let's put some annotation on it. Okay, let me click right up here, the annotation button. And I'm going to click up here now the annotation button there, click in the, in the picture, and I'm going to type sample lens. Let's make that real big, 14 point. Okay, there it is. Now we put some annotation on this picture. And I can put more things on. Let's, um, uh, oh, let's put some more, let's put something in here. Here, last element, make that 10 point type. Okay, and now let's put an arrow right from here. I'll click and drag last element. And you can put all kinds of things. You put a, a square down here. Let's, let's put a rectangle down here on the bottom. And I can put a line in that in that box. And I can put text in, the, in that box. Text. Let's make that 18 point type. Here we go. Oops, I misspelled it. Okay, well, look here. You can click the uh, select button here. Double click this. And that opens it up now. I can edit it. T-E-X-T. -E that's what I wanted. So you can edit text. You can, um, you can move things around.
click here and slide it, move this, move this around. And you can then save, when you save this picture, let me show you here, let's just close out the annotation editor. If I do a save this graphics right here, save it with a name test, let's say. Now, if I get the, um, if, I, if I want to open that picture again later, I can say open, I could call it test. And the picture comes back with all my annotation on it. Um, there are even more things I can put on here. Let's open the annotation editor again. And let's put a text here. I'm going to click down here. And I'm going to click uh, dimensions in millimeters. Okay, now that shows up on the picture. So this shows how you can make a drawing and add your own annotation to it.